Chelsea Football Club, don't you dare. Under no circumstances should we be interested in Michael Olise. Absolute faller, but we are stacked at that right wing position. I've got the latest on that. It looks like Chelsea are ready for that release clause. You know how it is. Trigger happy. Activate, activate, activate. Then we've got Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell's coming back, but Chelsea said, you know what? We need another left back. Might be a good idea. We're going to discuss who it could potentially be, what kind of profile it should be, but it's hinging on one key factor. And finally, we've got an update on two players coming back and one player leaving the club to Huddersfield, a place where we basically call Chelsea B because we consistently send players there. They do very well and they go on to either have great careers or they come back and play in our first team games. So first thing I need you lot to do, hit the like button. Second thing, subscribe to the channel because we're aiming for 32,000 likes and that following. Yeah, that is very difficult to do. I cannot do a Cockney accent to save my life. But I hope I made you lot laugh. Let's get up and crack on with the video. Chelsea almost got Michael Elise in the summer and a lot of people were excited about this. Me being one of them, I think Michael Elise is an absolute baller. When I put on my TV and I sit down and I go, you know what, let me have some food and enjoy some football. I want to watch Michael Elise. Decent right foot, amazing left foot. Can go either side, jinkity with jinky, doesn't depend on his pace and athleticism. Very good footballer, all in all. Very educated on football, knows how to do different passes, doesn't think inside the box, thinks outside the box, free kicks, penalties, just complete. Very good player, coming into the prime of his career now, and you can see it, purely based on the fact that he's no longer a kid that is developing, he's a player that is going to turn 24 soon, 25, 26, 27, it's going to be his best year. These are going to be his peak years. And Chelsea wanted to activate the release clause, but a lot of nonsense happened and all of a sudden he signed a new deal. We don't know the real ins and outs of what happened, but it was complex. That's what all the articles said. We're not gonna rehash old stories. But he signed a new deal and this deal has a release clause in June, you guessed it, in the summer. More importantly now, Manchester United are interested in the player and so are Chelsea. But my question is, how many right or right wingers with left foots do we need? You got Cole Palmer, you got Noni Madueke, you got Kendrick Pies, you've got uh, other players on loan, like such as Angelo or Mari Hutchinson. Do we really need another one? So please, under no circumstances, do not be trigger happy. And this is another player that has injury problems. He's got hamstring issues. And once again, he just pulled up again and Roy Hodgson doesn't know how long he's going to be out for. In the comments below, let me know. Are you selling on Ima Weke for Michael Elise to come in in the summer? Personally, I think that is overkill. I do not think we should be doing that. I think we've already got our wingers, now let them develop. That's my personal opinion. It wouldn't be the transfer window if I'm not sitting here and talking about Matt Law. You know, our favourite journalist, every single Chelsea fan absolutely loves Matt Law, allegedly. But more importantly, Matt Law's come out with a very interesting story. So Matt Law said, yes, Ian Matson's negotiating a move to Dortmund, like we said yesterday. Dortmund want a loan, Chelsea want a loan with an obligation. They want the whole package to get up to 31.5 million pounds, as we had it accepted in the summer to go to Burnley after add-ons. And if that deal goes through, Chelsea are actively going to look for another left back. They believe at this moment in time, they need competition from Ben Chilwell. And for me, Chelsea need to be very careful in what kind of left back they acquire. Because you got Mark Kukurea on the books. You don't need to go and get another starting caliber left back. Because you got Mark, you got Ben Chilwell, and now you get another one and all of a sudden you got three players for one position and there's not competition. The next guy coming in is going to cost a fortune. So what I think Chelsea should do and re reality is the Malagusto approach. We're going to call it the Malagusto. You got Reese James, you get a player that's around 21 years old to be the understudy to Reese James. Malagusto, ready to come in, ready to play 20 games, ready to play 25 games here and there to learn off Reese James. Reality is James has been getting injured so there hasn't been much learning but he's learning by, get, by a grilling and even then Malo's ready to play so we need to go find the left back on the market that is of a similar mold someone that can bomb forward and is illustrious in on possession someone that can affect like effectively carry the ball well but at the same time be technically secure to keep the ball under pressure what I think Chelsea's problem at the moment is Kukurea and Ben Chilwell off the ball powerful runners really direct 
on the ball, the minute a little bit of pressure comes in, they're, they're a little bit panicky, man. It's always backwards, it's always sideways, it's backwards or sideways. There's no penetrative passes through. We need someone that can fizz a pass through or someone that can take a man on with the ball. And neither one of them does it well enough for me. So maybe we can go get a different profile, but I think this is a good idea. We kind of had Matt Matson for it, but Pochettino doesn't like him. So I don't think going Colwell till the end of the summer is a great idea, but at the same time, I'm not totally against it. Like, I don't want to spend money for the sake of spending money. That's my personal. The final story that we need to talk about is Alex Matos has already got himself a loan move and the loan move is to Huddersfield. So Alex Matos is a midfielder that we acquired free of charge uh, from Norwich when he became a free agent. And ever since then, he's been in the squad. A lot of us have hardly seen him play. He's made one debut for Chelsea. I think it was a couple minutes in a game where he just came on for on the 89th minute. But Pochettino's a apparently been really excited by this player, thinks he's very talented, he thinks he's athletically very powerful. That was the quote that was used in an article. And for me, this is a great opportunity. Huddersfield have had a lot of Chelsea players go on loan there. Like we have sent crazy amounts of players on loan there and some of them have been successful, some of them haven't, but there's evidently a very good relationship between the two clubs. They play our players as long as the players are good enough and we trust them to maintain a good relationship and look after our boys. So Alex Matos, good luck on your loan. Uh, we don't know much about you because we haven't seen much of you, but we will be keeping an eye on you. I'm not saying we're gonna go on much Huddersfield games, but the reality is any compilations that come out, we're gonna be watching and this is good development for him, man. I'm really happy to see him go on loan. The next one and the big one that we need to talk about is Officially now, Andrea Santos has been recalled. And a lot of people like, we need to find him another loan. We need to find him another loan. I don't think that is the solution by no means, right? So what some of you don't know is Brazil have under 21 qualification games for the Olympics coming up. And they're gonna last between next Monday all the way to mid-February. And he has been selected and he will be going. And which also means when the Olympics come around, Donny will be playing because he loves his country and more importantly, South American people love their country and representing them. I'm telling you now, if they, if he had to go off two hours sleep, he will go. You see the way Enzo is running to Argentina every single time there's an opportunity. Caicedo as well, it, it, it's a Latin thing, right? These players love playing for their nation and they're very proud. So for me, we understand how it is. He's going to be going. It doesn't matter if it impacts his uh, like chances of getting into the Chelsea squad, he'll be going. So we need to accept it. So now I'm gonna say this. Anyone saying send him to Palace, send him to Newcastle, why? So when he comes back, he needs six weeks to get up to fitness for Premier League team. And then all of a sudden he gets no minutes. And then we're like, oh my God, it's been another bad loan. No, this is the thing that you do is very simple. You keep the gentleman at Chelsea Football Club. You keep him with the boys. You keep him under Maurizio Pochettino's wing. Then if we have injury problems, he plays. If not, he's learning of Caicedo, Enzo, and he's building a relationship with the manager and the players that he's gonna be in and around. Leslie Ogachukwu has got more experience, in my opinion, this year, when he was fit with a few starts, a few cup games, a few minutes here and there, trust minutes, as I like to call it, the Gilcross minutes, the ones where Gilcross comes in and all of a sudden, everyone knows his name now. Everyone's like, oh, you know what? He's a good player. And now, bigger clubs are looking at him. Santos does not need to go on loan to sit on a bench somewhere. If he's gonna sit on any bench, sit on Chelsea's bench, because then at least you get a few minutes, because in your position, everyone's broken. Like the reality is, apart from Caicedo and Gallagher and Enzo, the rest are just always injured. So why are we risking him and like saying, oh, go out on loan? Under no circumstances should he be going on loan, unless it's a championship club where we have direct promises. He's playing every game and he's going to be in a robust midfield and he's competing. I don't want another situation where he goes out and plays two games. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens, but it is what it is. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video out to your friends and families, your mum, your nan, your gran, anyone. Like anybody that likes football, share it out, let them watch. So have a lovely day, geezers. Oh, your granddad, dad, whoever you want, brother, sister, share the video. All right, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, I'm out. Have a lovely day.